Hello everybody, Joe B here and um, today I want to talk a little bit about this module that you, see in the, that you can see in the video. It's a BMP280 and this module is a pressure sensor and um, when everything works as expected then we try to add this Baros sensor to our Ishin E50 uh, conversion so that we can use altitude hold. But this is for another video. In this video I would only want to talk about this module itself and how we can connect it to Arduino. And I want to go a little bit in the detail about this module itself, uh, how it is built, uh, what we need to do to connect it via I2C. Um, I want to talk a little bit about SPI, but not in detail because we want to use it as I2C. And yeah, what we need to connect, what we don't need to connect and uh, everything else. What we want to do first is um, make a drawing of all the components on this board and how they are connected. And you probably can see on the screen um, how the parts are connected to each other. Uh, in just a second I will show you the back side. On the back side we have uh, lots of uh, text character symbols. Um, from the connection it is not too much uh, on the back side. Uh, but um, I think you can't see it um, through the... Okay, so what we will do next is uh, draw a schematic of uh, this module. So here's a schematic of this module. <laughs> it looks uh, rather complicated, but uh, more or less it's not so complicated as it looks like. Maybe I will draw another um, view. That makes uh, the understanding of the, <laughs> the understanding a little bit uh, easier. But um, this shows uh, the connections anyway. Uh, in the down row here, these are the six connectors of the module itself. So it is, just turn it around. So VCC, GND, SCK, SDA, CSB, and SDO. So when we turn it around and orientate it with uh, uh, connections down, then it's the same. It's VCC, GND, and so on. So what we can see here is um, the VCC pin is directly connected to VDD of the module and VDD IO. So these two are directly connected to the VCC pin. Um, I've already read a little bit in the data book and the data sheet of this, uh, this chip, this BMP280 uh, from Bosch. And they told us that uh, the maximum voltage is 3.6 volt. So this module can't be used with 5 volts. Uh, it must be used, uh, it should be used with 3.3 volts because the VDD I.O. is connected directly to VDD. This means that the I.O. logic is also 3.3 volts maximum or whatever you use on VCC. I think this module can go down to 1.8 volt, but we will see this later in the data sheet. So uh, between VCC and GND, there are two capacitors, 100 uh, nanofarads. These are the simple blocking capacitors. One interesting thing is these 
SDO pin, which selects the address of the I squared C. You can select between two addresses. The default address is set when this pin is pulled to low. So what we want to know is, do we need to connect something to this pin? The answer is no, because this pin is connected over a 10K resistor, all resistors are 10K, to GND on this module. Um, let me see, I think this is uh, ah, the last, the last uh, resistor. So uh, we, if we want to have the default address, then we do not need to connect anything to this. If we want to have the alternate address, then we need to connect uh, this pin to VCC or VDD in this. The next pins, CSB, SDA and SCK, this three would be used in, um, in SPI mode. When we only want to use uh, three pins, um, when we want to use I squared C, then we normally only use to, we only need to use this SCK and SDA pin. So what should we do with this pin then? Um, this pin is connected directly to VDD, so also to VCC, oh no, not directly, over a resistor. This means then that if nothing is connected to this pin, this point is high VCC. When we read in the data sheet, then we find out that if this pin is statically high, then the module is automatically set to um, I squared C mode. And not this module, the chip is automatically set to I squared C mode. In SPI, this pin normally changes value. If it does so, when this pin pulls low for just a short time, this module switches completely to uh, SPI mode and no longer works on I squared C. So if we want to use I squared C, we don't need to connect something here. Or better say, we shouldn't connect anything here. Because uh, if VDD came up, then this pin goes automatically uh, too high. And this is what we want. Yeah, the next pin is uh, GND, but this is, yeah, this is connected to the module and nothing more to say. So maybe I, I um, make another sketch that looks a little bit uh, easier. So I've drawn a second uh, view, which looks a little bit easier, but it is uh, the same. The name of the pins, by the way, this chip is shown from the top. So if you look on this chip, like uh, the chip is uh, oriented uh, now. And this is the other sketch. Here is VCC, here is VCC again. So. Some pins are drawn more than once, GND for example, and GND here, but they are connected. So, so that means GND here is the same as GND here and GND here. And here we can see that all the data pins are pulled high if nothing is uh, connected here. So if you want to have a logical low, then you need to pull this pin down and this pin down. We don't use this pin because we want to use I squared C. And um, normally in I squared C, you need a kind of pull up resistor. Normally, this pull up resistor is uh, smaller than 10K, but uh, we will try to use this 10K once. If this doesn't work, then we need to. Um, we need to add uh, other resistors, but I don't think so that this uh, will be a problem. 10K should be fine. At least when we are not want to um, talk too fast with, uh, with um, the module. So these are the modules that we try to use, um, the Arduino. 
Um, this is an Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, normally it is designed for 5 volts because it has a 16 um, megahertz crystal, but we have already seen that we can go a little bit lower on the voltage and normally this module should also work. Uh, it is not guaranteed, but this is not a critical application. We just want to test the sensor. So this is uh, the module. Mm, I've hacked it a little bit at this outside. This pin is connected to DTR. DTR is also on the module. Uh, what we need DTR for is in Arduino. This can set the reset, reset line. And to program an Admiral chip, you need to uh, reset it. On not an Admiral chip, to program it with Arduino, you need to reset it and then um, start with a sequence, whatever, I don't know sequence, but you need to reset the device. And that is uh, what this connection, you can do it automatically and don't need to press this reset button and then start the Arduino uploading. Yeah, what we have uh, done here is um, we have connected the VCC from this module to um, some kind of power in, VCC in, to on this Arduino. We have measured, measured the voltage on this VCC pin. It is 3.6 volts. And this means we are within the spec of this module this bar barometric, uh, this barrow module, and we can try to connect it up. What we want to do is connect four wires. The four wires are the um, positive supply, which we have decided to use 3.6 volts. We need GND, of course, the ground, and then we want to connect SCL and SDA. And because we are within the 4.25 volts, we can use them, we can connect them directly. On Arduino, the uh, SCL and SDA data lines, uh, I have a cheat sheet here. I can see that this is SCL, is AD5. This is a multipurpose pin, so you can use um, it in uh, one or two ways. Um, ADC5. Where is ADC5? Analog digital 3. Oh, it is here. It's 5. AD5. And AD4 is SDA. AD4 is uh, right next to him. So we need to connect this A4 pin with uh, the SDA, the data pin here, and the A5 pin with um, clock line here. So fire up the solder and then uh, soldering some small wires to these modules.